Kohana, Sarah Vanderwood's German short hair pointer, Alaskan Husky Cross, knows it's race day. Sit. Uh uh. Sit. There was a time when Sit. she would have to wait for the snow. But with dry land sled dog racing, Kohana and others can show their stuff anytime. We have people running with their dogs, biking, scootering, and the rig classes, which is a three or four wheeled cart that the dogs pull. And this is how people that live in areas that don't have snow uh, are able to take part in sled dog races, or those of us that do have snow, this is a, a, another season for us. The variety of events that are offered in dry land give the sport a nice contrast to the sledding on the snow. One of the really nice things about dry land is that there's a lot of small classes, so you can do a one dog candy cross that we just did. You can do a one dog bike, a one dog scooter, two dog bike, two dog scooter, and then the, the rigs. Um, and in, in the snow, it's like one or two dogs ski and then the big sled classes. So this lets you do, like, somebody can have three dogs and run three different classes. Kelly McGrath has seen the dry land evolution over the past two decades. It wasn't a competitive um, event way back, and now it is partly because the winters are a little shaky. And so this way, you know, at least you get to get out and the dogs get together and get to run and race. And, and if we have a lousy winter like last year, we've still had some kind of competitive season. She loves water, so she'll take it however she can get it. Some mushers focus is on the original intent of dry land, getting ready for the competitive season on snow. That's what brought Jean-René Saussier all the way from outside of Sherbrooke to Westbrook. It uh, permit me to uh, build my best team to be ready for winter. Uh, for me, Dryland's a funny race uh, where we do uh, a lot of try uh, new leaders, uh, change dogs of place, see uh, which one can uh, be fast because in training uh, we always go slower and we need to have a, a safe place to do speed. The Alaskan Husky is the iconic breed that most people associate with the long races like the Iditarod. But the pointer cross breed, like Kohana here, which gained its popularity in Europe, has become a mainstay in North American racing. But no matter the breed, the competition is just another way for owners to enjoy the companionship of man's best friend. It's a really symbiotic relationship between people and dogs. Um, everyone loves their dogs, you know, dogs that are exercised are great dogs. Um, and just the athleticism is the do of the dogs is just absolutely amazing. 